Hello and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony and in this video we're going to take a look at Azure Virtual Desktops versus Windows 365. So by the time we get through to the end of this, you'll have some basic knowledge to help you choose between uh, the two of them. So first, we'll take a look at Windows 365. So Windows 365 is a newer product that was announced in 2021. And depending on when you're viewing this video, that might have been recently, might have been a ways in the past, but it's newer than Azure Virtual Desktops. It, newer isn't always better. It's just good to know. But Microsoft describes Windows 365 as a dedicated cloud PC. And that is a really important distinction because it is different from the traditional virtual desktop infrastructure where each user logs into a VDI server and they are served up an in, a instance based on a golden image. And so in this case, it's a cloud PC. It, it requires the same style of management that you would give to a desktop or a laptop. And so for each user to connect to Windows 365, they can use the same RDS client as for Azure Virtual Desktops or even use their web browser. And so Azure Virtual Desktops compared to Windows 365, we've already covered some of these on the previous slide. Uh, but it's a traditional VDI, except it's in the cloud. And it's it's important to note that it's not just a lifted and shifted VDI. It's not just the same software you saw on premise, but hosted in the cloud. It takes advantage of all of Azure's capabilities to deliver a, a really powerful virtual desktop infrastructure in the cloud. So if you are considering VDI, you have a decent internet connection and you like that traditional VDI approach, Azure Virtual Desktop is an excellent candidate. And so unlike Windows 365, the big difference is that the, in Azure Virtual Desktops, uh, the instances are spun up from an image that is predefined and built by you or potentially your IT team. And so of course we use things like profile redirection. And so the uh, user's data is not stored in that instance, it's simply redirected from some storage elsewhere. And then connecting it is just using the um, RDS client. And so when it comes to licensing, this is where things always get complicated. I hate licensing. Most, a lot of the customers we talk to, uh, it's, it's one, of the, one of the things they struggle with. So before we jump into just this brief overview, if you are having trouble with licensing, please reach out. It's something that we, we have certified experts in and we can help you. But for Windows 365, on the left-hand side of this table, there's essentially two levels. You have business and you have enterprise. Business has a 300 user limit. Enterprise has no limit, but has some higher requirements. So for business, the straight business level, it can you can assign a Windows 365 license to any user up to 300 of them. If you have if you're utilizing hybrid benefits, each of those users must have a Windows 10 Pro license already and then up to 300 users. Uh, for the enterprise, each user must have the Windows 10 Enterprise license, Intune and an Azure AD P1 or P2 license. And then you can have as many of those users as you want. I mean, of course, there's an option with no limit. Now, and then Azure Virtual Desktops, each user will need uh, one of the licenses we have listed here. There's there's quite a few options here. I'm not going to run through each one, uh, but if each of your users has one of these already, they qualify for Azure Virtual Desktops. And so let's put some of the key differences here on one screen. So Windows 365, I really want to emphasize that it is primarily a Microsoft managed product. It requires less management than Azure Virtual Desktops which can be good. It means it's probably going to be more expensive, but it's going to be easier to manage. And so in reality, either you or your IT team is managing Azure Virtual Desktops, or in, in the case of Windows 365, you're paying Microsoft to do it for you. So that's the big difference here is the big trade-off. So computer storage and networking, uh, that's all Microsoft manage. And in the case of getting up into the enterprise class of Windows 365, they become something that the, the that you, the customer, can then manage. And then in, in Azure Virtual Desktops, Compute Storage Networking, it's all customer managed. And I mentioned this previously, uh, but Windows 365 does not use any type of profile management. Whereas with Azure Virtual Desktops, you have what Microsoft calls FS Logic to do the profile management. And then for user identity, so this is where the user account is stored. In Windows 365, each of the Windows 365 cloud PCs either need to be Active Directory joined or hybrid AD joined. And with Azure Virtual Desktops, you can use Active Directory joined, hybrid joined, or even Azure AD joined. And then the Azure subscription line, this can be a little confusing, 
But with Azure Virtual Desktops, you can host this in any of your own Azure subscriptions. In Windows 365, it's its own separate subscription that Microsoft manages for you. Either way, you're still paying Microsoft. And this last line here, OS support, uh, and this can be a big one if you have a requirement to use a certain version of Windows, such as Windows 7, Azure Virtual Desktops, goes all the way back to Windows 7. So 7.10 and the recently released 11, as well as Server 12, 16, and 19. And then with Windows 365, you have two options, Windows 10, Windows 11. And the good news is that probably actually covers most of your use cases. So at the end of the day, which one do you choose? So now that you have a basic understanding of Windows 365 versus Azure Virtual Desktops, which one do you choose? The biggest deciding factor here is how much time do you want to spend managing the solution? If you have the expertise, Azure Virtual Desktops is a good choice. If you prefer to not have to worry about it, Windows 365 is probably a good choice. Either way, if you're not sure, you can always reach out to us, give us a call, we're happy to help. Uh, because remember, we are your number one software dudes. Thank you for watching.